Okay, so our second uh, problem here, you can see that we have again 4 times x, 4 times positive 2. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute. So 4 times 2 equals 9x. I'm going to go ahead and simplify 4 times 2, which is um, 8 equals 9x. I want to move all my variables to one side. I usually want to move my smaller variable to the bigger variable side. So I'm going to go ahead and subtract 4x on both sides. I have positive 8 is equal to 5x. And then, so again, what I did is I moved the smaller variable to the bigger variable side. And I went ahead and subtracted 4x from both sides. You can also see that because I subtracted 4x, I didn't subtract the 4x from the 8, but I just wanted to cancel out the 4x. Okay. So you can see here that it was a positive 4x, and then I subtracted 4x on both sides. And then what I'm left with is that 8 is equal to 5x. The last step I would do here is to get rid of the coefficient or the number in front of the x. And how you do this is by dividing because this is 5 times x. So to get rid of it, use the opposite operation. You get x is equal to 8 divided by 5. And that would be your answer. So this would be an example of something where um, you actually have two solutions. So an example would be that you have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a second. So you have something like this, and then you have something else that goes over here. And then where they intersect, that would be the solution. Okay, so as an example, if we have two different linear equations and they intersect at one point, that would be an example of one solution. Question? Well, why didn't you subtract 8 from both sides? Your question is, why didn't we subtract 8 from both sides? So usually you would only subtract 8 from both sides if you need to move the constant to somewhere else. But again, here I have all my variables on this side, and I move my other variable to this side. So then I have my variable equal to my constant, and then I can divide from both sides. Okay. The reason is, again, like if I were to look at this, this is like saying um, I have four boxes of stuff plus like, like $8 is equal to nine boxes of stuff. And I want to see how much is in each of those boxes. So I would subtract the amount of boxes from both sides, and then I would divide by how many boxes I have remaining. And that would tell me how much is in each box. This is kind of like those problems where they give you those pictures. Okay, so this is the one where there is one solution. Um,